Hello everyone, welcome to our video on the 10 best places to visit in Vermont. Located in the northeastern region of the United States, it is known for its picturesque countryside and charming towns. This video will explore the top 10 attractions worth visiting in the Green Mountain State for an unforgettable adventure, where the fall foliage is as vibrant as our personalities. With a state tagline like freedom and unity. That's right, Vermont is famous for its scenic beauty and maple syrup and its friendly folks who never shy away from making a joke. So pack your bags and join us as we explore, but first, remember to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. So let's get started. Starting with the charming town of Woodstock, located in the eastern part of Vermont. Woodstock is known for its beautiful covered bridges, historic homes, and quaint shops. If you're a winter sports fan, you'll love visiting the nearby Suicide Six Ski Area, which offers skiing, snowboarding, and snowshoeing. Downtown is worth exploring, where you can stop by the local shops and pick up unique souvenirs or enjoy a meal at one of the town's many restaurants. The next must-visit attraction is the Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Historical Park, the only national park in Vermont. The park features hiking trails, a working farm, and a mansion that once belonged to the Rockefeller family. If you are into museums, visit the Billings Farm and Museum, a working dairy farm, and National Historic Landmark. Visitors can take a guided tour of the farm and learn about the history of farming and the state's rural heritage. No visit to Vermont is complete without a trip to the Quetchee Gorge, located in the central part of the state. The gorge is over 165 feet deep and is often called Vermont's Little Grand Canyon. You can hike down to the valley or you can visit the nearby Quetchee Gorge Village, which features a variety of shops and restaurants. Located just a short walk from the gorge, another must-visit attraction is the Quetchee State Park. The park features hiking trails, picnic areas, and a campground, making it an ideal spot for a day trip or a weekend getaway. For those looking for a unique experience, the Quetchee Balloon Festival is an annual event in June and offers visitors a chance to witness hot air balloons soaring over the place. It's a natural wonder and a must-visit destination for those looking to experience the beauty of Vermont's countryside. The next stop on our list is the town of Manchester, which is located in the southwestern part of Vermont. If you're a shopaholic, you'll love visiting the designer outlets, which feature over 40 upscale stores. Another must-visit attraction is the Hilding, the Lincoln family home, which was the summer home of Robert Todd Lincoln, the son of President Abraham Lincoln. For book lovers, the North Shore Bookstore is a must-visit. This independent bookstore is one of the largest in Vermont and features a vast collection of books, including rare and hard-to-find titles. Also a perfect destination for a luxurious and relaxing getaway. Manchester has something for everyone with its upscale boutiques, historical landmarks, and natural surroundings. So, if you're planning a trip to Vermont, remember to add Manchester to your list of must-visit places. Moving on, we come to Vermont's capital city, Montpelier. Despite being the smallest capital city in the country, Montpelier has a lot to offer. You can explore the Vermont State House, one of the country's oldest and best-preserved state capitals. If you're a nature lover, just a short walk from downtown, you can hike up to the Hubbard Park Tower, which offers breathtaking views of the city and the surrounding mountains, making it an ideal picnic or hike spot. Downtown is also worth exploring with its charming shops, restaurants, and art galleries. Or you can stroll around, take in the town's architecture, or stop by the Vermont History Museum to learn about the state's rich history. Next up is Shelburne, located on the shores of Lake Champlain, which is undoubtedly one of the best places to visit in Vermont. This charming town is known for its beautiful farms, estates, and historical landmarks, making it a popular destination for tourists worldwide. One of the main attractions is the magnificent Shelburne Farms, a 1,400-acre working farm. You can also visit the Shelburne Museum, which boasts an impressive collection of art. 
The museum is over 45 acres and features 39 buildings, including historic homes, a schoolhouse, and a lighthouse. Lastly, Lake Champlain, which borders the town of Shelburne, an excellent spot for outdoor activities. Visitors can rent a kayak or paddleboard to explore the lake's pristine waters or take a scenic cruise to enjoy the beautiful views of the surrounding mountains and forest. Grafton is a small picturesque village located in the southern part of Vermont and is considered one of the best places to visit in the state. This charming town is famous for its covered bridges, rolling hills, and quintessential New England charm. Walking through the village, visitors can't help but feel like they've stepped back in time. The town is also home to the Grafton Historical Society Museum, which provides insight into the city's rich history. It is an ideal destination for those seeking a quiet and peaceful getaway in the heart of Vermont's beautiful countryside. Our fourth destination is Killington Resort, one of the largest ski resorts in the eastern United States, spanning over seven mountain peaks and nearly 2,000 miles. Located near Rutland County, it's a mountain lover paradise. Killington reflects New England skiing and with plenty of ski lifts and gondolas. Visitors can ski or snowboard on the numerous trails or enjoy winter activities, such as snowshoeing or ice skating. Killington has earned its nickname as the Beast of the East, a title held since the 2013 to 2014 ski season. A first-time skier may get lost because the resort is so large, but it's easy to bounce around and have fun until you find your way. The top of the summit is the second oldest exposed rock in the world, making it an excellent spot to take in the mountain vibes. But skiing isn't the only attraction here. The resort also boasts a range of hiking trails. So whether you're a thrill seeker or need a scenic getaway, a trip to Killington Resort promises an unforgettable experience. Our third destination is the Champlain Islands, a group in Lake Champlain. They can also swim or boat in the lake or enjoy a scenic drive on the Lake Champlain Byway. The islands also have numerous parks and nature preserves, such as North Hero and the Sandbar State Parks. Besides the stunning Adirondack Flank Lake itself, one of the best things about Lake Champlain is the lack of hustle and bustle and overdevelopment. One can hike, play golf, camp, and take boat cruises, but the beauty is the ease with which you can enjoy your surroundings. The northern border between New York and Vermont is formed by Lake Champlain, which stretches from the Canadian border more than 100 miles south. There are several islands within the islands, Isle Lamont, North Hero, Grand Isle, and South Hero, as well as the Albert Peninsula, which is elongated. There are 587 miles of shoreline on Lake Champlain, 54 public beaches, and hundreds of swimming holes along rivers in the basin in summer and beaches are open to the public for most of the swimming season. There is one of the oldest fossil reefs in the world is found in the lake, 480 million years old. And some people think dinosaurs may still live there today. In the lake, Champ has been claimed to be a mysterious creature similar to the Loch Ness Monster. Our next destination is Stowe, a town known for skiing and outdoor recreation. The town is often overlooked but is one of the best places to visit in Vermont. It has trails and ski slopes and it overlooks Mount Mansfield. One of the first things to do when visiting Stowe is to start hiking on the long trail which traverses through Mount Mansfield, offering stunning views of the town. Visitors can hit the slopes at Stowe Mountain Resort, which offers skiing, snowboarding, and other winter sports. You can also enjoy beautiful places like Sterling Pond and Spruce Peak and end your hike by cooling off at Bingham Falls and Moss Glen Falls. Another beautiful trail to explore is Sunset Rock, offering some of the best vantage points in town and great photo opportunities. Taking a walk down Main Street is another must-do activity. The street is lined with charming shops and the beautiful Stowe Community Church, all surrounded by incredible greenery with the mountains in the backdrop. A trip to Stowe wouldn't be complete without trying some of the delicious maple syrup, and the Nebraska Null Sugar Farm is the best place to do so. Stowe also has a picturesque downtown area.
Our first destination is Burlington. Any list of Vermont's best places and travel destinations would not be complete without Burlington, another vibrant city on Lake Champlain's shores. Visitors can explore the Church Street Marketplace, a pedestrian mall lined with shops, restaurants, and cafes. You can also visit the Eikau Lehi Center, a science museum showcasing the lake's ecology and history, and the Royal Botanical Gardens, which offer visitors an excellent and pure experience of nature. Life in this city is so fascinating that most visitors end up staying. The beautiful scenery of downtown includes views of the Green Mountains on one side and Lake Champlain on the other, giving the area a coastal feel. Known for serving sustainable and regional seafood, the Blue Northy restaurant is one of the top places to visit in the area. Vermont's Creamy Soft Serve Ice Cream, also known as Creamy, is a local tradition. The city also hosts numerous festivals, such as the Burlington Discover Jazz Festival and the Vermont Brewers Festival. A large year-round farmer's market, art exhibits, beer celebrations, and giant pumpkins exist. So, there you have it, folks, these are the 10 best places to visit in Vermont. Each location has its unique charm and character. Whether you're a history buff or a nature lover, Vermont has something for everyone. And if you're lucky, you might even enjoy some of the state's famous maple syrup, cheese, and ice cream.